All right, here's the next part of the video. Um, so I took out the, uh, the main shaft here. And what I had to do was uh, this bearing was giving me a little bit of trouble. Um, you have to take the bearing off the shaft to get the counter shaft out. So what I did was I put the whole transmission in the shop press and pressed in on the back of this shaft a little bit to work the bearing out just enough to get the bearing puller on. So I put the bearing puller, I needed a little more room to get it underneath. You want to make sure you support the bearing all the way around, otherwise you're going to stress the actual, the actual balls in there instead of the, the races. So I got that pried off, or pulled off rather. And uh, there's the counter shaft in there. And you can't see it, but behind this is that, uh, the bearings that are on the other side of that. But I didn't take this thing apart at all because the gears are all like solid, fixed on the shaft. They don't, they don't go in and out like on the main shaft. So I just cleaned it up and put the new bearings in there. I guess you can take it apart if you want to press the gears off if you got a broken gear or something, but mine's in really good shape. It's amazing for this age of a transmission. And then in the last video, I was talking about that chip collector on the bottom. It's down there. You can see it. It's got two bolts. It just kind of sits in the bottom there. Uh, once you get this out, you can lift it out and then clean everything out under there. Um, all right, so let me just pop that off. And then the way this comes apart is there's a little snap ring right there. You can see it. And I just use regular old snap ring pliers. They aren't, the, they aren't made necessarily for this type of snap ring. There's probably like a better one out there, but it'll work. You just get it in there and pry it open and work your way around. And then when that's off. Oh, there's a, like a thrust washer here too that you're going to want to take off. That's just loosely fits on there. It's just a spacer. So you get that off and then um, you probably take this this thing. I'll just the third, fourth shifter I think should just pop right off. You take these, take these springs out. It'll loosen up the clutch keys. This will come off and then you should be able to get a gear puller like uh, this one behind it, just hook on, back it off, get that hub off. I can redo the, the springs because in the last video I mentioned I think I got the wrong style springs. Even though they fit and they're made for this transmission, they're too stiff. And this thing just, it's supposed to click back and forth and it's just really stuck. So they're heavier springs than the old ones. The original ones are like this. They're like a round wire. The new ones that I got, or the new old stock ones, are a different style. They're like a flat piece of flat uh, rectangular steel. They're much heavier tension, and I don't think it's compatible with those shift key, those uh, clutch keys in there. Um, but yeah, and then the way this comes apart is after you take this off. Uh, third gear is on a uh, bronze bushing that's in there. They say it's pressed on. Mine was pressed on pretty loosely. It was able to come off by hand. You know, it's old. And then inside here, can't really see. Oh, there it is. There's a internal lock lock ring, like a big one. It's uh, it's like this. It just sits inside the bigger gear. And what you need to do is just pry that out and then you'll be able to pull, um, let's see, you'll be able to pull what comes apart. This, this inner piece here will come out, see how it moves a little? This piece that moves will come out from this gear and you'll be able to get in there and clean everything off and, and all that. So That's it. That's basically all there is to the main shaft. 
I will check back in when I make some more progress. Thank you.